Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Adventure, and we're here in the last level of the game, Rainbow Resort. The end is upon us. Well, boy. Dang it. Well, well, I lost both of them. Whatever. You may think there may be some, oh gosh. Oh well, I could have used laser for that, but whatever. Okay, so this area is a bit tricky if you want to get the um, uh, if you want to get the switch. Sorry, I just sorry for the quietness there. I was just kind of trying to focus there because it can be a bit harrowing sometimes. So what we want to do is we want to grab beam first of all. Oh crap! And get rid of that. So you'll notice here, purely by accident, that beam will get rid of some of these blue blocks. That's what we need to do right now: is get rid of some blue blocks. And watch out when you come around here because the fireball power up guy is going to come right back. And remember fireball because you're going to need it. Oh boy. I may have screwed this up. Hopefully I can salvage this. Well, looks like I didn't salvage it. Whoops! There may be a way to do this. Hold on. Nope, I don't think so. <laughs> well, we'll come back. Boy, that hasn't happened in a really long time. Let's just get rid of this cannon, shall we? Oh well, whatever. I'm gonna have to come back anyway, so it doesn't matter. At least the end of the- wow, okay. At least the end of the level was right there. And I love Kirby's little dance, so it's alright. Alright, let's try that again. There's actually only two switches in, in the last level, but they're not easy to get. <laughs> and this is how you were supposed to use laser. Like, might as well get that one up anyway while we're at it. We can come through here again. We want to get beam. And the pepper is gone. Interesting. You don't have to go down that way. You can if you want to. Alright, so what you really want to do is you want to just clear enough room here. Yeah, give yourself a platform to stand on. There we go. Now that we've done that, it should be alright. Yeah. So we're not going to be able to clear all the blocks. There's still two left. So what we want to do is get the fireball power up. Hop back up here and blast our way through. And there's the switch. And it opens up a crane game. And then you just finish the level from there, but we've already done that. Let's see if we can get a couple more lives. You'll notice there's two stars there now. That means we're 
at uh, the second level of difficulty for this mini game. There are three levels of difficulty. As you can see, the second level makes the crane go much faster, and we probably went way too far to the right there. But yeah, there are three levels of difficulty. Um, two stars is the medium level. Um, we've been playing on one star level up till now. There's a third, even more difficult level, uh, which is three stars, obviously. But um, we're not going to see that in this playthrough. Um, after the... Well, we'll talk about that when the time comes. Okay, so... He, oh, wow, okay, well, we got some more ice physics going on. So here, this is a standard for most Kirby games. It's the mini-boss rush. There we go. Um, I was way too reckless for, with that fight. <laughs> As you can see, I didn't do a whole... I didn't do real well. So use Crash. Pick up Mike. I'm going to save one mic for the next boss. I don't really need freeze. So we'll just go past him. And it's bonkers. Whoop! And bonkers is done. Might as well pick up hammer. While we're at it. Oh, hammer's not the best. Power up, and if it's... Yeah. Might as well just get rid of the star. The only reason to really keep these powers, or f for the most part, is to use them as a, a early hit against the mini bosses. The only exception is right here. Um, the throw power up is very, very effective. I wouldn't even bother grabbing any other power ups after this. Because like I said before, using throw, whatever you pick up, whatever you would pick up normally, becomes supercharged. So I pick up these ladybugs and I get, you know, the super powered attack against them. And he goes down so quickly. So keep throw, don't switch it out for any other power-ups, at least not through this stage. Leo can be a bit of a pain. There we go, but he's done. And that should be it, I, I believe. At this point, it's over with... There's still a little bit of the stage left to go. Not a whole lot. There you go. That was it. Just the Mr. Sir Kibble and the Maximum Tomato. That was your... That was the rest of your stage. <laughs> Not much to go on, but... Whatever. Alright, stage three... No sleep powers for me, thank you. And if you're curious, there's no more switches until stage six, so all all we have to do now is just go through the level and progress as normal. Well, these Bronto Birds are gonna make things difficult for me, aren't they? Dang it! No, don't go away. Oh, well. Yep. I remember always taking a ton of damage in this area. But there's a maximum tomato at the end, so it's all good. 
Just a matter of making it to the end. They must have known. And some candy. All right. Whoa! This is actually a kind of a hard area to traverse. Going up the um, the slope is it makes you really slow. But going down makes you go crazy fast. Dang it. Well, Parasol sucks anyway. I'd much rather have some Stop following me! <clears throat> Moving on. To stage four. Dang it. Where are you going? No, 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 no. Oh, well, we'll see what a combination of laser and... I don't want that. Thank you. Ball sucks. Would have liked to have had laser. Oh, and tornado doesn't work through. I believe I knew that, but I just forgot. And I hate these guys. Whoops. Whoops. Well, whatever. I didn't want that power up anyway. Bronto Bert. So, the reason I know some of these guys' names is because I used to play Kirby's Avalanche a lot. Actually, no. I rented it one time. But, um... Boy, those three days that I had that game, I played it a lot. <laughs> but, um... Before every stage, it'd show you a picture of the character, and it would say their name. So, like, if you were fighting Paint Roller, they'd go, Paint Roller. And it was always really cute, the way they said it. And I'm gonna die again. Oh, well. Too early. Yeah, it would say the name, like, Waddle Dee and Waddle Doo. It would say... Paint roller, and heavy mole, and they. Oh boy. Um. So yeah, so they name each one. Go go go! Get rid of that one before it kills me. Too late. Oh no! It didn't kill me. It must not have been close enough. But my favorite was always Squishy. Because he'd go, Squisher! <laughs> it, just, it was just ridiculous, but it made me laugh every time. Okay, so Wheel is not the best power up to have here. So take a look at these stars. You'll notice that some are going down and some are going up. That tells you what the gravity is doing. If it's pointing down, the gravity will force you down. If it's going up, it'll force you up. Fireball would be much better power up to have. Oh crap, but don't kill me. There we go. It even, yeah. Well, knew that was happening sooner or later. It even, yeah, like I was saying, it even changes the way your fireball direction goes. Oh crap. Okay, and we made it through. Oh, well, poop. Well, poop! Laser, are you coming back? Yes, okay. So here's the cannon I was talking about earlier that's like the most ridiculous one to get to. I think you actually need the fire. Well, too too bad, too bad, because you have to get around all that stuff, and you have like two seconds to do it. It's ridiculous, but if you get there, if you manage to do it in time, you can get five extra lives. 
so it might be worth it. Right now, it's not worth it to me because I, I, 26 is more than enough to get through the game at this point. Um, and this is my favorite level of the entire game because it's Kirby's Dream Land revisited in black and white and gray. But um, yeah, I was gonna say um, your. Your save file, it only records how far you've gone along. Uh, how far you've gone along in the game. It doesn't record how many lives you have. So if you play for a while, let's say you get up to level level four or whatever, and you turn the game off and you come back later, it'll it'll start you off at the level and stage you were on, but you'll go back down to the regular number of, of lives that you began with. Which is really bad if, you know, if you've gotten like 20 extra lives or whatever like I do now. If I had to give them all up, I'd be pissed. <laughs> but that's what happens. So lives don't carry over, but all your other progress does. Um, and it does let you go back and do all the um, mini games again, but who has time to do all that? Oh gosh, oh gosh, yeah. Well, it is squishy. That's squishy. Squishy. I, I never get tired of saying that. It's so much fun. And trigger this guy to fall. There we go. I don't believe there's a... Yeah, I don't believe there's a... I'm oh, just gonna do that. Okay, fine. Whatever, dude. Stupid kaboo. Now, there is a switch in here that we need to get, but it's not just yet. We still got time. It's in the. V it's literally right before the exit, so there's no need to worry about it just yet. And I love the music here. So we're just gonna come around through this little maze area. And we're gonna come up here. Don't go in the exit just yet. You wanna fly up to this moon and go in. And there's the last switch of the game. And it unlocks a warp star door. And you can get a maximum tomato and an extra life as well. So it's totally worth it. And there's the end of the stage. No, didn't didn't end up ever getting to that first top level. Oh well. But this is it, final boss time. We're going after King DDD. It might actually be better um just going as regular Kirby here. Yeah, see, he's not doing anything. Dang it. Well, there goes that star. Not a great start. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, so I wouldn't bother using any power-ups here. Oh, gosh. Watch out when he does that. This isn't, this isn't an easy fight. It's it's tough, but doable. Oh, crap. I'm making this look way harder than it actually is. Dang it. Oh, crap. The, the only <laughs> other advice I can give is for you to not... Um, get hit, if at all possible. Um, normally what I would be doing, and what I'm not doing a very good job of, is staying airborne. If you stay airborne, he has a harder time connecting with you, and you have more time to react to what he's doing. Of course, you have to get down on the ground to 
absorb stars to hit at him. But things are going much smoother right now. And here comes his... He's got his own powers of flight that he can use against us. <clears throat> and I believe two more hits should be good. Yep. One more hit and he should be done. Come on, DDD. Give me something to work with. You're not being very cooperative. There we go. And you're done. That's right. You got your butt handed to you by Kirby. Level 8, the Fountain of Dreams! Yay! DDD, knock it off! What? What are you talking about? Doesn't seem to want us to go over there. Kirby's getting pissed off. Whack. Just back off, dude. Personal space. Learn about it. And lights return to jo Oh gosh, what's going on? Everybody panic. Oop. DDD is going to toss us into the air. Alright, so DDD is actually not the final boss. This is the final boss. Well, it's one part of the final boss. And this is a very difficult... Um, this is a very difficult part of the fight. What you want to do is you want to just keep hitting him. Just pound him. Even if you take hits, just do it. Because you don't have a whole lot of time. It's a timed fight. Um... You'll see that the sky is, is getting brighter. Uh, if you don't beat him before you uh, reach the ground, the screen will scroll up and will kill you. And it's an instant death, no matter how much health you have. So you have to hit him as much as possible. And a lot of his shot, his, all of his shots will basically cancel out your own shots. But having the star rod does help. Hopefully we can do this. We've only he's only need there we go. <laughs> but yeah, there's the ground. If that if you'd hit the ground and gotten pushed up and scrolled off the screen, you would have died. Which has happened to me a few times. <clears throat> and now we go on to fight stage two of the boss. It kinda sucks that you're stuck with the same amount of hit points that you had after the first stage there's no opportunity to heal or anything so I'm in a bad way here um, so chances are I'm gonna lose a life here yeah especially if I want, it, Kirby doesn't jump when I press the jump button there we go so from what I found, you actually want to hit him with the stars rather than the actual star rod. It does more damage to him. Yep, there we go. But um, the way to get him, he's totally invulnerable when he's um, wrapped up in his cloak. But when he opens it, you'll see there's like a little shiny area right underneath his face. There. If you hit that, that's his weak spot. And again, you can hit him with the stars or you can hit him with the rod. If you hit him with the rod, it doesn't do very much damage. Ah, crap. When he's high up like that, it's really hard to get him. Just watch what he does. Watch for his patterns. Dang it. That's probably the easiest time to hit him. There are other times where it's hard. Like that, that's kind of hard one to get, but... You can do it. It's not that hard. I would say the, the fight against King Dedede is harder. Wow, he tore that up. Boring. <laughs> Ah. 
He's gonna shoot again. Oh, just missed him. The hardest part is finding an opening. Yeah, I waited too long for that one. Ah, that one got him though. And that's it. That's the end. It's the end of the boss fight. Oh gosh! Well, there that goes. Yeah, a huge chunk of the moon gets blown off. But that's alright, it's just the moon. That's not important, right? Kirby fought to find the Star Rod. But King Diddy did not... King Diddy D did not mean any harm. Bad dreams had invaded D Dreamland. A nightmare came to the Dream Spring. And tried to cause pain to the people. DDD foiled the nightmare by hiding the star rod from him. So he wasn't the bad guy after all. Well, he could have done it a bit better. DDD helped Kirby beat the nightmare. Again, could have found a better way to do it. Now everyone's dreams will return. Tonight, Dreamland will sleep well. Hooray! <clears throat> Look at Kirby. Look at, he's such a daredevil. And there goes the star rod. Dream Fountain activate! And anytime Kirby comes by on his little star, it just dominates the sound and all the music goes away except for some of the background tracks. And here we go, we got the credits and we get a shot of Kirby using some powers against some of the bosses. So here obviously Kirby's got throw and he's using it against Wispy Woods who seems to be way tougher than he was before. And using stone against paint roller. An interesting choice. I don't think I'd do that myself, but... Fireball against Mr. Shine. That's interesting. <laughs> eh, I guess it would work. Fireball is a pretty awesome attack. And Tornado against Krako actually seems like a decent idea. <clears throat> and heavy mole using parasol against heavy mole. I don't, I don't, I don't know about that, but whatever works. And of course, you don't have a choice. You got to use sword against Meta Knight. But here's what I was talking about last episode. That move was what I was trying to pull off, and yeah, it was dumb. Probably shouldn't have bothered with that. Using high jump against DDD. I don't know, man. That's not my first choice. Bye bye. It's the end. Extra game. Congratulations. Now choose extra game to go on a new and more challenging quest. I, th I always think that says guest, but it's quest. <laughs> And that's it for Kirby's Adventure. There's just a couple more things we can look at before we, we end things. We are the hero of lore with our 100%. And once we've beaten the game and gotten 100%, there's a couple of new things that are available to us. We can play any of the bonus games. Crane Fever, Quick Draw, and Egg Catcher. We can choose from three different difficulties in each one. And there's also the versus boss, which is... Your typical boss rush, boss rush against all the main bosses of the game. Um, and then there's also the extra game. The extra game is basically hard mode. You unlock hard mode by going through extra game. Um, I'm not sure of all the differences in, in between extra and the normal game. 
the only one I know for sure is that you start off with three hit points instead of six. So, you know, much, much, much harder to get through the stages without dying. Um, I also the mini games are all, all set to level three, so you're gonna have a much harder time getting extra lives from them as well. So, you know, there's that. I, I think. I don't I don't know if they add more enemies. I don't think so. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Um and I don't know if they change like if they make the bosses harder or anything. I don't know if they, they if extra mode affects any of that. All I know for sure is that it changes the number of hit points you have and it changes the mini games to their maximum level of difficulty. But uh, yeah, that's it for Kirby's Adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed playing it. I always enjoy going back and playing these classic Nintendo titles. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I'll see you for the next LP.